Hey G-Squad, welcome back to an episode of Is It Worth It? So for this episode, we have this cool, amazing part right here. As you can see, basically what it is, is a battery-powered Wi-Fi video doorbell, aka kind of like a ring device that you can use as a video doorbell. But first thing first, let's actually open up the product to show you what it actually looks like and what comes out the package first. So when you guys first open the product itself, you can see there's a bunch of instruction guide right here. I believe one of them is for the actual um, video doorbell itself. And then the other one, I believe, is for the uh, chime. They also do provide you guys a little warranty card if there's anything wrong with the product. And they provide you guys some stickers that you can use. And right here, you can see the actual product itself, so let's stick it out. So in this small little box right here, we have some uh, mounts right here and some screws that you can use to mount the product. Right here, we have the actual chime itself. There's a little reset button on top right here, and then it has the USB um, port right here that you can use to plug it in. And if I look at the front part right here, this is the speaker, so that's where the chime will start happening everything to activate it. They also do provide you guys some uh, mounting tape that you can use to mount the product if you guys want to. And then there's a little accessory right here that you can use to poke it for, I guess, for uh, resetting it or something, which we'll find out in a second. So one of them comes like this, and then the other one's right here. So you guys have to assemble it yourself. So in here, they provide you guys some accessories and the product itself. So here's the cable, which is a um, USB to micro USB cable that you can use to charge the product, I believe. And then right here, we have the second part of the actual uh, device or the video doorbell. So the camera's right here, well protecting everything. This is the back part right here, and then the bottom part right there. So I guess the bottom part you can plug in just like this. So just like that. If you guys lock it in place, then you guys can see a little blue light that pops on right there. And the way how you guys charge it is by plugging the cable down here. If you guys want to take it apart, all you guys have to do is just go like this to take it off and you guys are all set. So first thing we want to do is to download the app first, which is on the actual box right here. So depending on which device you guys have, that's how you guys determine which one to use. I have iOS, so I'm going to use iOS. So now I have to download the app on the App Store. We'll just let that finish downloading first and we'll come check on it in a second. So once you guys finish downloading the app, this is what it should look like right here. So I just want to fill out everything that they mentioned on here. So if you guys don't have an account, they should sign up for an account first. All right, so we just finished downloading and setting up the app itself. So you just want to add your device on here. So as you can see, they have a lot of different options on here for like their different devices that they have. So they have a camera, doorbell, um, battery camera, and floodlight camera. So depending on which one you guys have, you guys want to set it based on that. So with the one that we want to set up is the doorbell. So let's click on doorbell. Please power on the device. All right, so I tell you guys to power on the device. So let's do that first. So you guys want to plug it in just like I showed you guys earlier, just like this. All right, so it's on. And then we're going to click next on the actual app itself. Press the bell button and tap next. All right, so we want to press the bell button. Please reset the device by holding the reset button for five seconds for the indicator light to flash red. All right, so it's telling us to reset the device. So we want to use the reset pin that they provide us right here. So let's open this up first. So the reset button is on the bottom part right here. So you just want to push it. All right. So once you guys hear that, then it's ready to be paired. And you can click the next button on the actual screen itself. So we'll click next. Select the Wi-Fi network you want to sync with. Please choose a 2.4G network. Then enter your network password. All right. So it's telling us to use a 2.4G network to use it because if you guys use a 5G, it won't work. Please remove the protective film from your camera lens. Tap next to show your QR code. Then hold the code in front of the camera lens at a distance of 5 to 8 inches. Alright, so we want to remove the film that's on here, so let's do that first. So we want to click next now. Alright, so now it pops on the QR code. I can't show you guys just for safety and everything. Alright. Connecting. Please wait a moment. You guys can see it's connecting right here. So we'll let this fully connect first. All right, so you can see if we connect right here is pretty high quality. So as in here, the audio is quite loud. And the quality on here is pretty good. So you guys can see like the date on here, you can see the time on here. This is basically what it looks like once you guys fully set up. So you guys have the option to do screenshot. Um, you guys can use the recording option right here. You guys can use the mic option on here if you guys want to talk to the other person. Um, there's motion induction on here and there's also an album so you can look through everything that was recorded uh, previously you guys can also go to the history page to check everything that uh, went on so different day different alerts uh, screenshot record albums as well this one actually comes with the sd card so if you guys don't want to use that you guys can but it also has option as the icloud so you can use the option as well 
So let's take a look right here. So there's an iCloud, there's a history, and there's a regular one right there. And if I look really carefully right here, it tells you guys like the time and the Wi-Fi and the percentage on here. So basically depending on what you guys want to use, then you guys can choose the options. So if you guys want to turn on motion detection, so you can do that on here as well. If you guys want to talk to the other person, you can press the intercom uh, button to actually do that. But that's basically everything that's on the product itself. You can see the overall test and everything works pretty well. Let me actually do a quick test of the chime and also the charging test to show you guys how that works. And then we'll come back and talk more about the product in a second. All right, so we got the product here all set up, as you can see. So all we have to do is press this button right here with the doorbell. All right, and tell you guys that there's a visitor, so I can hang up, answer, or message them. So really easy to use. And the chime itself, as you can hear, is quite loud. So it's really cool how the actual chime itself is automatically paired onto the um, device itself so you guys don't have to worry about how to pair and everything. So let me show you guys a quick test of the um, night mode on here or night vision on here first and then see what it looks like. All right, so I'm doing a quick test right here to show you guys how it works. So this is what it looks like in the daylight when it's bright out. All right, so as you can see, this is what it looks like in the daylight when it's bright out. They managed to turn off the light to show you what it actually looks like when it's dark. All right, so it took a few seconds to actually t activate the night vision mode, if you guys can see right here, but it does work. And it's quite clear, you can see the image and everything. So even with the night vision on, you can see that's really bright. And the audio on here is quite loud, but I don't want to turn too loud because it's going to have a feedback. So that's why we want to turn on the uh, audio right now. All right, so I'm going to plug in the cable right here to show you how to actually charge it. So let's plug it in first. All right, so once you guys plug it in, you guys can see that there's a red light indicator right there to let you guys know that it's charging. I believe when it's fully charged, the light should just turn green or should turn off. But it's pretty easy and simple to um, charge it, if you can see. And if you guys are wondering how to know when it's fully charged, and also look at the app itself right here. So this is the battery life right here, if you can see. All right, welcome back, guys. So now you guys saw a test of the product itself, you can see that actually does work and it works quite well. Really easy to kind of set up once you guys understand the process and everything and follow the instruction that they provide you guys on the quick starter guide right here and also on the chime itself. I definitely love all the features that's on the product itself. You can see it's super clear. It also has like the night vision that I mentioned. It's also waterproof or weatherproof in certain extent, but not fully wet to the point where it's like you guys dump it into the water. The product itself, it is 100% wireless. So if you guys want to put this anywhere, you guys definitely can, but just be aware that the fact that it's wireless makes it easier for people to kind of steal these kind of cameras. I know by heart because this happened to me before, but that's the risk they decided to take to get something really nice and premium like this. And the two-way audio on here is pretty nice, it's pretty clear. You guys can hear the other person as well, which is pretty awesome. It also has the motion detection technology built in, so every time someone walks by, you can see that person uh, walking by, or if someone steals it or whatever, it lets you guys know on the app itself. And what's really cool about the battery life on the product itself is the fact that when you guys fully charge the product, you can get a maximum of six hours of usage on the actual battery life on the product itself. So now to be the quick unboxing and testing the product itself, now to answer the question of whether or not it's actually worth it or not. So for me, honestly, I would definitely have to say that this is worth it if you guys want one or need one of these, especially if you guys want to be more aware of like what's going on in your house, if someone leaves like a package or something, if you guys want to talk to someone, if you guys are not home and they ring the doorbell, this is a really cool product to have so you can do everything that I mentioned. <laughs> but then obviously for those guys who don't want or don't need one or have needs for one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else that actually do need. But other than that, that's going to be for a quick unboxing and testing of the product itself. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, then make sure to subscribe, like, and comment down below. And if you guys like this video and you guys want to see more, then make sure to click on that notification in the bottom to be notified of new videos that will be coming up in the future. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace. And then for today's G-Squad fan shout out day we have